Ladies and Nigeria, how you feeling, man? It's exactly 30, 30 minutes to the top of the hour. That's at 9 p.m. Now, I told you about um, uh, something about Two-Face, okay? So, um, I got a private invite to Two-Face's album listening. That's the next album that's going to be coming out. And that is something that a lot of people have been looking forward to, all right? But that will be on the detail. Definitely trust me to bring you all the details concerning the music literally <laughs> how good it is and how um uh, it would turn out the event and whatnot okay yeah maybe shout out to my producer what do you say i see you bro yeah all right so i got someone quite important i i, I must i i cannot um overemphasize and uh, it's really it's really important to me when um a lot of a lot of nigerians in the diaspora would try as much as possible to involve themselves in um, uh, in happenings within the country and uh, with the talents that they have and they have discovered and harnessed um, uh, the, the best way to try as much as possible to improve what we have in the country and uh, this particular man goes by the name of Tunji Joseph <laughs> yes good evening yeah I'm feeling good feeling I'm excited to be back in Lagos. Yeah. Um, I've been feeling the love, to be honest. I've been feeling the love since I've been back. Um, the welcome from everyone has just been heartwarming and makes me feel like I'm, I'm, I've made a great decision to, to be a part of the Lagos Theatre Festival. Okay. Now, um, uh, Tunji Joseph is, um, uh, he's a London-based actor, also director, uh, theatre maker and producer. That is a lot. It is like be, it is a lot to be. I mean, um, uh, as far as I know, mm -hmm. being a producer and being a director are two different things. Yeah, and for you to be a producer and a director, it must be a hell of a task. It is, but what it comes down to is like when no one's going to open a door for you, you need to make a door. So I made a door, and right, I'm, 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 I'm talking force your way in. Yeah, force it. <laughs> kick down the door do whatever you can to 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 be on the stage to perform because as well there's the the um financial aspect that comes in of it would be expensive to get like another producer and another director but i know i have the skills to do it myself and of course when i started out i i i didn't know what i was doing but you learn you watch you read Ooh, I first did the show back in, the first time I did it was in uh, September, so since September of last now, year. Um, as far as I know, you, you have uh, 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 a master's in acting. Yes. Right? Yeah. And when, when did you get that? Uh, I, I was the class of 2018 from Arts Educational Schools. And the great thing about that course is like, yes, it's primarily um, an acting course. But, but the course doesn't produce just like one trick ponies. They, uh, they teach you everything from the acting to producing, to writing, to creating theater companies, uh, taxes, all that kind of stuff. So, so that when you leave, you're not only reliant on an agent, you are confident in yourself that you'll be able to make your own work. You'll be able to so go out there and network. everything as well, like yeah. down to the financials. Yes, yeah. yeah. So, so that all helps because like- How easy was that? The course or the... The course itself. The course. Uh, it, it, it was tough. It wasn't easy, you know. Um, people think acting's like song song and dance, but... Yeah. But um, the, the misconception about acting is like, you know, you, you, you get your script, you read it, boom, that's it. No, that, that's not it. Um, so what is it? Well, I can give you a definition of acting, oh, yeah. if you like. This, this is my favourite yeah, definition. If you want to. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can yeah, do. Let's go. So according to Sanford Meisner, the definition of acting is living truthfully under given imaginary circumstances. So, um, th that- I wish I didn't ask you to act. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't ask you to define that. You just confuse a lot of my listeners, but I'm listening. So, so, so it's very simple. So, um, if I was to play a lawyer, I, I don't know anything about law, yeah. but as long as I do my research and do, and to the best of my ability to just be truthful in that moment, in that scene, 
and under the given imaginary circumstances, I'm, I'm defending the murderer. So, yeah. the, um, and I just got to try my best to portray that I'm, I'm going to do all my best to, to get the murderer off. And, and that's it. It's quite simple. It's being the character. Be, yes, being. Now, how, how difficult is it for you to um, uh, get into a particular character? I mean, um, I've heard and seen um, talks concerning a lot of actors that um, uh, almost never remain the same because they own the particular character from a particular movie, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, not, it's not in the literal sense. I mean, it's just, you know, media <laughs> hype and whatnot. But to a very large extent, yeah, it is about that. I mean, I'm talking your Heat Ledgers and the Joker mm -hmm. type of situation. If you were to play that particular character, Joker, yes, yeah, because it takes. I, 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 I don't know, but you're an actor. <laughs> yes, I feel it takes a lot of mental work. Yeah, a lot of mental work, preparation. Um, it's just it's just research and research and just like knowing as much as you can about the character you're portraying and it's not that difficult really it's like everything you need is in the script it's just about like dissecting the script and uh you know asking questions like for instance in in the scene like who, who are you in the scene like wh where have you just come from all, all that kind of stuff that influences um the way you the way you act out that scene um, so acting, it, it, it's 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 like it's alchemy. What's the most difficult task you ever faced in the, in my ooh. in acting. Um, and then I, you know, because you're so much, so I might just go acting, directing, and producing. I I think it's just being able to compartmentalize, and just it. Um, there's this saying that I I got from this director I worked with um, back in London. Who's um, that? Adobayo Bolaji. Okay. Um, so it's it, he just said like leave yourself alone. So so what he meant by that was just like stop overthinking and, ju and just do it. Because when when you overthink, you get in your way. It's, it's like it's, that, that. That's how simple acting is. Just leave yourself alone. Do it. Don't overthink. Because when you overthink, it's 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 not chemistry. It's not it's not it's not biology. It's none of those things. It's acting. It's simple. It's life. We we do we do it every day. It's just so simple. Just be in the moment. Okay. Now, um, uh, that said, I want to want to check this out. So, this whiteboard, black pieces, race in the West. Yes. What's that about? So, uh, the show it's a one man show, and it's uh, it looks at what it means to be black in the Western world. Um, and I touch upon like issues like uh, race, belonging, ancestry. Uh, music um, and, and how you can deal with all of that while living in the Western world because it's it, it's it's tough in the West. It is tough. I had a, look. It's so funny how um, I had a conversation with a friend of mine. Um, we used to work together about three years ago. Mm -hmm. All right. So he moved to uh, he moved to the U.S. Yeah. Right? No, four years ago actually, and then he moved to the U.S. and then. We had a conversation yesterday and then he told me about a lot of stuff and I was really shocked at his views mm -hmm. and opinions on how things really work as to how they make things seem. Yeah. So would you be working on that as well? Would you be showcasing, I mean, how um, uh, the media probably portrays this particular view or this particular notion about how things work and it's probably not true or it's probably worse than what it is? I don't, I don't go, I, I, I touch on issues like that, talk about uh, uh, police brutality briefly, I touch, I touch on like, because it, it's, the show is 45 minutes and, and there's, there's so much I, I could so put. So I had to be kind of like selective with what I kind of focused on and what things I just wanted to give a little wink to. So it, it's it's a compact show, but it's uh, it's heartfelt and it gives the audience like a gut punch and you're like, wow. So it's just you performing? Yeah, me on stage with a tennis Only. ball. Yeah, with a tennis ball and a chair. With a tennis ball and a chair? And I transform into like 10 characters. 
That's some Eddie Murphy. <laughs> that's some Eddie Murphy genius stuff, isn't it? Now, how easy is it for you um, to get into these characters and for you to actually put them? Let's talk about the show. So, okay, yeah. How, how how easy has it been for you to put together the show in this entirety? I wouldn't say it took overall it took like two years to, to put the show together but that's two years of just like whenever I have like some free time kind of like writing the script uh, or developing so an idea. you it yourself? Yes. Produced it? Oh you're going to produce it? Yeah. I, I, I've done, yeah I have done. All the production before. and the directing? Yeah I directed myself. And you're going to be the only actor? Yes. <laughs> It's nice to see you think this is a piece of cake because I'm looking at your face and it's like, oh, I got this. But, bruh, everyone listening knows it's not that easy. Yeah, I, I've had this before. Like, people, people have been losing their minds. Like, How long okay. has it taken you to work on this particular project? Because it is a project. So, write, writing like about a year and rehearsing like about six months. Who, who, did you work with anyone while you were rehearsing? And um, so for the first run, I did it all myself. Then I had the second run. And before I did that second run, there were um, two girls on my course who have their own theatre company, Emma and Bettina. And we went back to my drama school and uh, we went through the play like scene by scene. And they kind of just like reshaped it. But it wasn't set in stone. They'll, they just gave me ideas to kind of like bounce off then from their notes I've kind of developed it so it's just been like the three of us really and, and that's it now so far as um, uh, as an actor and uh, uh, let me just say a theatre professional yeah okay yeah how easy has it been um, uh, you know doing what you do and what you love to do um it, it hasn't been easy like um at first, I don't know about how to get into acting over here in Nigeria, but in, in the UK, it, it wasn't easy. Um, so at uh, sixth form, I did a school play um, for theatre lovers, musical theatre lovers. It was Les Miserables. Ah. Uh, yeah. Is that how it's pronounced? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's I've Les Miserables. Every pronunciation I've heard, Les Miserables. Les Miserables. I, I say Les, Les Miserables. That's the is... pronunciation. No, I, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking you. I'm not. I, I don't know. That's... <laughs> okay, that's... but you did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I did. I did. Okay. What character? Uh, uh, Jean Valjean. Yeah, I don't really. Remember. The the lead. Oh. Oh yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, okay, and uh, that was easy. Um. It... It wasn't, no, it wasn't easy at the time. It was because I had to sing and I had never sung before. So that, that was, um, that, that was kind of difficult. But, um, but apart from that, it was, it was fun. Can you sing now? I can carry a tune. If I had to audition with a song, I could do it. Yeah. So um, there's this, there's this um, uh, I have conversations with a lot of uh, people in the industry and there's the understanding in how or on how you should it's almost um, uh, it's almost important, as important as the acting, for you to know how to sing. Yeah, all, all all the drama schools in the UK that we do singing classes. Also in the US. Oh yes, of course, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's it, it's important to because it, it just brings like something different, and like through song. Ah, my singing teacher. One thing he used to say, like. The reason you sing is, is, is for when like words aren't enough and you need to express something, then song is the next kind of level of, level of expression. So, yeah. so when he used to tell us that, I was just like, wow, okay, I, I get it. That's why singing is important. All right, so this is um, a Swift Theatre Company. Yes. What's that about? Is that a so, company? Yeah, I just set that up. Literally, I, I uh, wanted when to... When did you set that up? In January. What January? Like January. this past January. Last month? Yeah, last month. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, why did you set that up? Um, I, I just wanted to, to have an identity to, to my brand. Um, and also, I like the idea of getting to a certain level 
then reaching down and bringing others up. So not just actors, but other producers, other writers, other uh, stage hands, you, you know, like there's, there's so much that can be done for theatre company when you get to a certain level. And that's what I want to do. Want, and also I like the idea of creating my own work because I've really enjoyed this experience. Yeah. And it's been like really rewarding. How long are you in Lagos for? Until the 4th of March. All right, so you're going to be, I know about the um, uh, Lagos Theatre Festival. Yes. You're going to be there. Right. Yeah. You're going to be performing. Yes. What would you tell someone that would definitely bring that person to your performance? What, what would I tell them? To, yeah, to, to tell them to, to sell your show. Sell my show? Okay. To a random person. How would you do that, though? How would I do that? So, I'd be like, you know, life is it's sometimes it's a little bit mundane, but my show, you know, it's it's thrilling it's exciting it has you on the edge of your seat um and it's that that kind of kind of like frantic energy that kind of unpredictability that's what my show is it's unpredictable it's um and it, it also it's also kind of like a didactic experience like it teaches as well but it doesn't like knock you over the head which which i find which i've heard from feedback which people have found refreshing and how complicated is it for people to understand? No, it's not. It's not complicated. It's not. It's, it's not complicated. Okay. It's not complicated. And how long is it going to be? Uh, Forty-five minutes. Rhythm ninety-three point seven FM. Let's round things up. It's about four minutes to nine PM. Um, uh, don't forget by ten PM, TJ Sean comes in and uh, straight music down to midnight. And you do not want to miss that, okay? So, so speaking to, to um, uh, why do I, why do I always want to call you Tunji? That, that, yeah, that's it. Wow. You know what? You are actually Tunji. Yes. Your dad's, your dad is Tunji. Yes. And then, if you do, you have a kid? No, no. No. I focus. But on if my you wife. do, and it's a boy, it will be one. Tunji as well. The nice size so two. three generations of Tunjis. Tunji Joseph's the third. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a that, that's so British. Like Tunji Tunji the third. I like that. Either way, um, uh, how can it reach you on social media? So if you want to reach me, it's Tunji underscore story time. They can see all my activities I've been doing since I've been in Lagos, and uh, yeah. Where have you been to though? Have I been to just like like Freedom Park restaurants? Yeah, a couple of restaurants. Yeah, so you've not been to the mainland you? to eat Amala? Oh no no no! Wow. No, no, yeah. Amala, what do you want there? No, I won't run my there. I just want to see you. Okay. Um. Uh, thank you so much for coming through. No. All worries. right. Um. Uh, I will definitely be at uh, uh, the Lagos Stairs Festival. All right. I really want to watch you. Um. Uh, to really feel what you have expressed vocally but in a more you know different light yeah okay um uh, one more thing if i was to get into acting yes what will be your top three okay what will be your advice in three sentences uh okay work hard work hard work hard but how? How? Uh, go, go, on, you, go on YouTube, watch, watch uh, interviews with actors, um, watch scenes with your favourite actor and like watch, when you watch the scene and you feel something, rewind it and find out what they're doing that makes you feel. Um, and uh, go and Google and look for acting classes in your area then once you're part of the community, then that's how you find opportunities. Okay, okay. Some say you have to, you must, if you do not score in acting, there's, there's almost no point. Not school? I mean, if, if you go and Google Wikipedia, there are like tons of actors who don't, who haven't had like training at drum schools that are, that are actors, but it's just, the thing drum school does it like it just gives you like skills. It, it gives you a toolbox that, yeah. you can, that you can go to. You can work with. Yeah. Well, 
whereas I guess actors who don't train, they 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 just learn on the job kind of thing. But in a nutshell, if you were to advise anyone who wants to be an actor before you step out, what would you tell them? Find find a drama school or find a, a private kind of like acting coach that so you can hone the craft because. I'm passionate about this to me because because acting it, it's not this flimsy thing. It's a craft that um, people have put their blood, sweat, and tears in um, to perfect and hone. And it, yeah, it needs to be respected. Do you feel it's not being respected? No, not all the time. Not all the time. It, it should be because um, because drama school like it, it trains you to physically and mentally and um you you learn this respect you learn about the forefathers and whatnot and uh that that that's when you know your history that's how you can change and innovate i like that when you know your history that's how you can change and innovate yes did i say that right yeah yeah okay yeah, that's thanks so much for coming through tunji um i hope to see you on friday friday saturday or sunday okay See you soon. Like I do by Fire Boy. After that, we got All For You by Joe Boy, Mabel with Bad Behavior, Life Is Good, Future, and Drake back to back at music on the dance party.